Hey, Coach, uh, you and so many of the guys after yesterday's game were talking about the need to set the tone physically. Uh, how encouraging is it to see you guys do that on the second end of the back-to-back? Yeah, it was a great win. Um, you know, one of the best starts we've had uh, maybe since before the break. So uh, that was positive. Uh, that's a very good team. Um, we obviously shot the ball well, but we defended. We, we got into people and – our communication was great. We rebounded and, um, you know, we, we did, we, we took care of business. So proud of the guys, you know, it was a tough, tough game back to back, um, you know, tough little stretch here. And, uh, we had a good week. What did you see from LaMarcus Aldridge and, and it, it, did what you see play into your decision beforehand to put him in the starting lineup? Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, you know, this is a guy that has a great pedigree, um, you know, very intelligent experience and skilled, Six eleven basketball players. So, you know, we thought we got to get him going. And uh, so why not throw him in the starting lineup and see if he can get his rhythm. And uh, I was impressed with, uh, you know, his effectiveness after such a long layoff. And uh, that goes to show, uh, you know, an experienced, skilled basketball player and intelligence. So uh, I was really proud of the way he played tonight. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Following up on that, Steve, I mean, it's been, it's been a month since he played and the last time he played, I mean, I think he was over uh, three at a couple points against you guys. I mean, did he surprise you, I guess, at how quickly he adapted and how he shook off the rust this rapidly? He did, you know, it's not easy to do, you know, to have that type of layoff. I know he's tried to keep himself in good shape, uh, but like, you know, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a real difference between playing basketball and staying in shape. And, uh, you know, he, he looked in good condition and, uh, you know, he was sharper than I thought he'd be after that much time away. So I was impressed. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, how much credit do you give him for the impact that he made on defense in that 11 point uh, first quarter? Uh, and then, you know, uh, again, in, in the third quarter, I think they held him to 17 points. Yeah, uh, you know, he's a very intelligent defender. You know, he understands space and concepts. Um, you know, he, you can tell that he has experience. And he, 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 you know, regardless of the situation, he, he understands what's in front of him. He understands what he's looking at and he's able to, um, to read uh, defensively very well. So he, he was great. Um, you know, that, that's another thing that's not easy to do, defend NBA players after a month out. And uh, I thought he was, he was very good defensively tonight as well. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, you said pregame how he only was able to participate, you know, two scrimmages and, and, and a little more after that. I guess just given your short time with him, were you able to run anything for him or was a lot of his touches off a of feel and, and what Kyrie was seeing out there more than anything else? Oh, no, we we uh, we targeted them some on switches. You know, they were switching everything, so we rolled them into the post, and I uh, got threw it into them, and you know, I was able to to score. But more importantly, he was able to draw two defenders and kick it out for assists or for swing, swing, and open threes. And so that was effective. Um, you know, he, he's an intelligent player, so regardless of whether he's in the post or he's just playing basketball, he knows. And our team wants to play like that. We want to play you know, with pace and with randomness and intelligence and read and react and not be predictable. So, um, you know, he fits in there as well. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Steve, um, in a game that was so much of a, a blowout basically for the entire time, what was the thought process in uh, keeping some of your starters in so late and not having DeAndre play at all? Yeah, yeah. Um, the starters, we went from 30 to 20 in about two minutes. So another two minutes, it might have been an eight-point game. So I just wanted to make sure we got the win. Uh, you know, um, it's a great experience for all our guys to, to go through some of those things, the ebbs and flows. But uh, first, we have to get the win. Um, you know, DJ, I talked to him before and said, you know, we got to incorporate the Marcus. And, you know, it, he, he may not play tonight. Um, I didn't want to throw him in there as a veteran uh, at the end of the game. Uh, and his spirit was great. You know, I told DJ, you know, play or not play, he's got to stay ready and have a great attitude. And he's bought in. And tonight he had a ter terrific attitude and support for his teammates as we're all trying to play for something bigger than ourselves and, and commit to one another. So I was really proud of him for accepting that uh, and giving Marcus an opportunity to get into the team. Last Do you anticipate question. him being a part of your rotation moving forward? 
Yeah, I mean, th this is the thing we, we say it all year, you know, something's going to come up, you know, it just has every week this year. So, you know, he's got to stay ready and who knows when it'll be. It might be Sunday. It might be in two weeks, but everyone's got to continue to prepare and stay ready and see what happens. Everyone other than, you know, top four or five guys have been in and out of the rotation this year. So um, that's just the nature of it. And we got a lot of centers and we're going to work through it and see see what our rotations end up being come playoff time, but everyone's got to stay ready because everyone can play a role at some point, not only during the regular season, but also during the playoffs. Thank you. Last question, Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, you know, you talked about the feeling of a, a malaise, of, of being in a rut of sorts. Does a win like tonight, do you think, help pull a team out of that? Potentially. I mean, it was a good first step. Um, you can't pull yourself out of it without put stringing together performances. So there's one. Uh, we were sharp. Uh, we came out with a, with a great intensity to start the game, which has been lacking a little bit lately. And, uh, you know, I thought overall pretty comprehensive performance.